Welcome my constant reader friends. I'm Tad and this is Tad Reads Books and Stuff. All right, we're halfway through June and it's hot as hell here in Florida. Um, just a quick update. I'm still reading, of course, Preacher. This is book two. Uh, Graz and I should be posting our next installment in the read through of this for the Marvelous Team Up, probably around Wednesday, coming this coming Wednesday. Still doing that. And of course, I did start Amy Winehouse Beyond Black. Uh, not too far into it. I gotta be honest, I have just not been reading a lot lately. But we're still gonna be working on this. But this gives me the opportunity to finally start doing my Welcome to Rockville videos. Yes, four days. Uh, 150 bands, five stages. It was fantastic. As you can see, I'm wearing my Welcome to Rockville t-shirt. Um, really cool. It's got all the list of all the bands on the back, of course. I also picked up uh, a bandana. The bandana for this year, Welcome to Rockville. There you go. I'm using that, uh, you know, as a cover to protect the dust on my turntable. Awesome. And I did pick up a poster. I'm actually, I just got it in. I hope it's not too much of a glare. I've got this in just a placeholder right now. I'm gonna get it mounted better. Uh, I know it's probably glaring, but I'm gonna get it mounted better uh, in a little bit. So yeah, I got a poster and my bandana, my shirt, and of course my four-day general admission pass. These things are really cool. Wear them around your wrist. You know, you just use this to get in. You click it, turns green, you go in. So yeah, that's everything. My very first Welcome to Rockville, and this is my first video. So I'm going to just go through, show you some pictures, uh, discuss what was happening for day one of Welcome to Rockville, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Well, if you had camping, RV camping or tent camping, of course, you got a special show Wednesday night. But I really wanted to be there for at least the first note of the first band on the official opening day, which was Thursday, May 9th. And it was Until I Wake. Yeah, unfortunately, I did not have a camping pass, so we started on Thursday. Until I Wake is a metalcore band from Canada, and a kind of crazy thing, the very first note they hit, a girl not two rows standing in front of me completely passes out, and it was crazy. The very first note, and someone already passed out. They got her up, she was okay, but it was a crazy start to the show. Until I Wake played for 25 minutes, so once they were done, we turned around from the Inferno stage and walked straight over to the Vortex phase stage, where we found Fuming Mouth. Now, Fuming Mouth is a death metal band from Massachusetts, but they have a lot of doom metal uh, in their music, even some jazz, really a uh, really want, becoming one of my new favorite bands. I went right out and ordered one of their records as soon as I got home from the show. After Fuming Mouth, we ran over to the Apex stage to catch the set by Point North. Another band, I had no idea who they were before the concert, but I listened to some of their music. I thought it was pretty cool. This is a... I guess uh, alternative rock band based out of California. Uh, I thought they were really cool. You should uh, give this band a listen if you haven't heard of them before. One more time, another really cool new band. This is TX2. A, I don't know, kind of a pop punk band. Uh, again, uh, just a new band that I had never heard of before, 
you know, getting tickets for this concert and then just going through and trying to listen to all the different bands. And this is one of the ones kind of pop punk that just, I don't know, for some reason jumped out at me. This little dude here, uh, their lead singer, he is all over the stage, jumping up and down, running, sliding on his knees. Such an energetic show. Really should check him out. My son really wanted to see Gideon. Gideon is a Christian metalcore band from Alabama. So we just stayed right there at the Vortex stage and caught a little of Gideon. I had never heard of Gideon either before uh, the show, but um, my son was really excited to see them, and uh, they put on a hell of a show. Uh, really, all the bands at Welcome to Rockville so far had been absolutely fantastic. So uh, if you get a chance, you should go. All right, well... Time for another picture from the official uh, website page of Flyleaf. Yeah, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I am totally wasted. Again, it's so hot. I'm really on the verge of passing out. Luckily, my son you know, came to the, the Savior and said, Hey, let's sit down, relax, get something to eat. He was in charge of buying any food that we ate at the concert, so he took off, came back with some heroes. Oh my goodness, those heroes were fantastic. So it was nice. We got to sit down, found a shaded area, ate a little food, recharged our batteries, and we were lucky to be close enough to the Vortex stage to catch uh, the set for Flyleaf. Flyleaf with Lacey Sturm, um, really good actually i enjoyed it a lot of people complained about this set but um i enjoyed it it was nice to uh, listen to while you were eating food <laughs> i i loved it and with our batteries recharged we were back into the fray my son and i decided to split up at this point uh, he had some other bands he wanted to go see and i really wanted to see dirty honey so I made my way to the Apex stage, which is the main stage, and caught the set for Dirty Honey. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, I really couldn't get that close. So I had to take a picture of the TV monitor screen, huge screen that they have at the side of the stage. And I was able to capture a picture of Mark LaBelle, the lead singer for Dirty Honey. Um, just a great rock and roll blues band i i guess if you like greta van fleet similar to greta van fleet but i really love this band and i've got i don't own a record i have to get one and again my camera duties were failing and i only got one picture of this awesome band but if you haven't heard of them check out dirty honey so from here on out, I basically decided I'm just going to stay right here at the Apex stage. It's the main stage, and these are the bands I want to see, the next three playing here. So Anthrax, oh my gosh, I am a thrash metal fan. However, I've got to admit, I was never an Anthrax fan. But as with all these other bands, I started listening to their music in preparation for this concert, and I was really interested to see them. Here I captured a picture of uh, the lead singer, Joey Belladonna, on the big screen. And I gotta tell you something, this band blew me away. This so far was one of the best bands I had seen all day. I wasn't prepared for it. Um, so uh, now I guess I'm going to be an Anthrax fan. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just weird how these things happen when you see a band live, how much better uh, informed you can be of what the band is about and their style and how they look on set. I don't know. It just, it just, they just blew me away. Here's another picture of Scott Ian, of course, uh, one of their famous guitar players for Anthrax. And once again, here's more records I have to go out and purchase to uh, 
satisfy my need for more <laughs> anthrax. Well, I guess when you're an old man, uh, this is just what happens to you. Um, yeah, at this point, anthrax <laughs> wrecked me again. I'm so tired, so hot. I just decide to find a space and lay down on the dirt, <laughs> on the ground, and just try to recover from anthrax. Luckily, these big screens will show you bands uh, and pipe in the music from other stages. So I was able to just lay back and watch Mudvayne. So you see some pictures here of Mudvayne. Uh, they put on a pretty good show. It, it's cool. You just lay back, watch a screen, and listen to some music. My son found me. Um, I, we did miss August Burns Red. I really wanted to see August Burns Red. I told my son, I'm sorry, I'm just worn out. I just can't do it. And he said, no big deal. I've seen him twice already. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Haven. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't, I wasn't able to see August Burns Red, but I was able to finally relax and once again get my third wind ready for the next show yeah so it's about seven o'clock now and the sun is actually starting to go below the the bleachers and there's a nice shadow over everything it's actually starting to cool off i've got my third wind uh they're setting up the stage for judas priest once again, I have to admit, another band that I never understood. I never was into Judas Priest. I listened to some of their music, getting you know ready for this concert, and I was starting to, I don't know, kind of dig their music. So I was looking forward to this show. Um, I was able to get up pretty darn close for this, and I don't know, these... Judas Priest, you know, I mean, Rob Halford's in his 70s, and I don't know how he does it. He sounds amazing. This band was not the headliner of the day, but absolutely should be. Um, you see a picture right there of Rob Halford. Holy cow, this, all right, I, I've said it a couple times, but hands down, this was the best show of the day. They should have been headlining. I am now a total convert. Rob Halford's voice was fantastic. The, of course, now it's nighttime, so the light show was fantastic. The sound was fantastic. I can't tell you, I guess in words, how awesome this band was. And I was so excited for this. And here I go again. More records that I'm going to have to add to my library. Because, oh, I don't know if I can live without Judas Priest. <laughs> All right, after Judas Priest, I did the same thing we did after Anthrax. Just went back a little bit at the Apex stage, sat down, found a spot... And relaxed, watched the big screens, and caught the set by Disturbed. Um, I gotta tell you something. This was the biggest disappointment of the whole four days. This set was horrible. And then he did this. Yep. Brought out Ann Wilson of Heart to save the day. Of course, Ann was amazing, fantastic. I wish I would have seen, done a whole concert with just heart because this Disturbed um, set was horrible. There was some issues with some wind and some sound. They had to lower the speakers and stuff, but his voice is just not there anymore. Here we are, the final band of the day. Day one, welcome to Rockville. 2024 and the headliner is motley crew yep never been one of my favorite bands i only own one record i just have always hated uh the vocals on this 
And as everyone's been saying, this band is probably past its prime. Um, the He just, he can't sing anymore. So I really was not looking forward to this. But they're classic, so we decided to hang out and watch it. And lo and behold, they were fantastic. Yep. Um, yeah, no, Vince Neil's voice, Vince's voice is not there anymore. Um, he's gained a lot of weight, but, uh, they had some backup singers that helped out. The music was fantastic. Uh, Johnny Five is their new guitarist, uh, replacing Mick Mars, and he was fantastic. And, of course, unfortunately, I didn't get any, uh, pictures of Johnny Five, um, but I was able to get some pictures here of Nikki Six, and I forgot to get any pictures of Tommy Lee. Tommy was awesome. Nikki was awesome. Uh, Johnny Five was awesome. Vince Neil was passable, I guess. Um, the show they put on, the light show the video screens, uh, the nearly naked dancing girls, uh, backup singers. It actually was a fun time. The crowd was going crazy. And, I mean, I guess their songs can be pretty infectious. Um, But just never going to be one of my favorites. But I have to admit, they actually put on a good show, and it was not a disappointment. I just don't think they should have been the headliners. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, it was a crazy day. It was great. It was fantastic. I loved it. Basically saw 13 bands. That's a lot of bands in one day. Um, I missed um, August Burns Red, and that's about it. <laughs> that I really wanted to see. So, I don't know, I, I think I did pretty good. I actually saw a couple bands, you know, that I really didn't think I was gonna see, like Flyleaf and Gideon with my son. Um, that was really cool. So, I'm gonna keep this up. That was only day one. We're gonna have four days total of Welcome to Rockville. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy any of my videos, please like, please subscribe, and as usual, Leave me tons of comments. I love the comments. And until next time, peace out.